Hello everyone, Sling TSI build, weekly update. It's actually only been a week, which is the first time I've done that in a while. But I had to show off the panel because this is an exciting step. So uh, got, got the panel in. Um, I don't plan to remove it again. I have everything neatened up in the back of it. Um, everything works that's plugged in. I haven't configured, calibrated, done any of that, but uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, with that step. It just uh, it just seems like a big a big step completed and marked off. Um, so that took a little bit of time to get everything hooked back up. Um, everything, the airlines, the oxygen lines. Um, I I did a lot of organizing of how the uh, the harness sits back in there. Um, so that the uh, the center stack goes in better. Uh, I have a, a, a harness from Midwest Panel Builders, and I'm not sure I originally laid it in there correctly. But I had um, I had a fault with my audio panel, so I basically took everything apart and uh, and relayed the the harness in there. And uh, anyway, when I got it all put back together. I found a few things that might have been the issue, and anyway, it resolved itself. Um, we'll watch it every time I turn it on and keep an eye on it, but I think I found the, the problem. But anyway, uh, so that's a, a big check mark off the old list, and uh, I'm starting to work on um, the side panels. I, uh, I got them out, test fitted them, and uh, I've got the... Uh, the tank selector, I'm going to hook up the fuel lines and make sure all that fits. I also did some work on the uh, uh, the throttle quadrant here. I had built this assembly, I don't know, like a year ago, but I didn't have this powder coated yet. Um, and then uh, we had the service bulletin where they changed out this part, um, which makes this stick out further, and it's... Uh, for the, uh, the throttle cable. So uh, I changed that out, redid everything. Uh, I pulled the new throttle cable through um, and I have it hooked up. It's not torqued or anything yet on the engine, but I got that done. Um, so that was the, uh, the big steps. Um, I, uh, I pulled the uh, control sticks out and I decided I'm gonna wrap them with vinyl wrap. So uh, I'll let everybody know how that goes. Um, I had painted them with some good primer from my spray gun that I had. And then I didn't want to buy a pint of black. It was going to be pretty expensive for what, it, what I needed. So uh, I just rattle canned over my good primer. And it just, it scratched. When it was in storage, it scratched, which means it's going to scratch over time. Um, I'm just not happy with rattle can paint ever for any, any area that's going to get use. Um, I think for a hidden primer, you know, up underneath something, it's fine just to protect the metal, but, um, I'm just haven't been happy with it, uh, for anything that's going to be seen. So anyway, I'm going to wrap over the paint. Um, I did a test on the stick and um, it actually just, I've never used that stuff. And then I'm, I'm doing a cylinder, you know, uh, the stick. So it's kind of a weird, um, it's normally put on cars. Um, but it seemed to work well and stick really well. And uh, it shrunk up tight. And uh, I think that it's going to be a good product. And it's a really heavy duty product. So, you know, I think as it gets used and abuse, as people get in and out of the plane, you're not going to see any scratches. It's going to, you know, it's going to continue to look good for a long time. And if it doesn't, I'll just peel it off. I've still got nice looking black paint under it. It just had a couple of scratches on it. I was just worried that as, as the plane got flown and people get in and out, I was going to scratch the, the paint off further and it would look bad. So anyway, that's really all I had for this week. Um, just a quick one, um, just to show the panel because it's exciting to me. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get some more done this week. Uh, I'm going to start working on all the, uh, you know, the inside finishing panels and carpet and uh, some of the, the controls and stuff that, like, I don't have the, 
I don't have the flap actuator in and I need to terminate the rear and the middle heat and some of that kind of stuff. So that's what I'll be working on in the next few weeks. But anyway, until next time, uh, good luck to other builders and uh, everyone else. Have a good day.